In this video, we are going to learn star delta starter. What is the working principle for star delta starter? Quick disclaimer before we start today's topic. This video is our first 3D animation video. It took a lot of effort making this content. If you like these kind of videos, consider hitting the like button, subscribe this YouTube channel and turn your notification on if you don't want to miss our future videos. Before we go ahead and understand what is star delta starter, it's important to understand why we need star delta starter. It's okay to start small motors directly, but there's a one problem when you will start a big motor directly. A large induction motor in delta can produce sudden or inrush current of over five times its full load capacity when starting up. The surge or simply sudden increase in the current can cause a lot of problems as the electrical system will hit a massive demand at once. This leads to the component failure and fire. Due to that, temperature will rise in infrastructure. Voltage drop also appear on other machine and devices across the electrical network. This is the problem statement. But my question is, what is the solution for this problem? Solution for this problem is star delta starter. We use star delta starter to reduce the current when motor starts. By using star delta starters, we reduce the starting voltage which causes a drop in starting current. Let's understand what is star and what is delta connection and we will also understand star delta wiring. Before we talk further about star delta connection, it's important to see what's inside the terminal box of a motor. When we open motor terminal box, you will see six terminal inside the box. To run motor, we need to connect three phase power supply to motor terminals. L1 of three phase supply will be connected to U1 terminal, L2 would be connected to V1 terminal, L3 would be connected to W1. Now let's understand what is a contactor and how contactor help us in star delta starter. A contactor is a device that is switching on or off an electrical power circuit. For better control, we will add a contactor between motor and three phase supply. We will call this main contactor. Now let me explain you what is our load production or what is our load relay. Where we will be using our load production relay. When the motor draws excess current, this is our load situation. This may cause our heating and it damages the winding of the motor. Because of this, it's important to protect the motor, motor branch circuit and motor branch circuit components from our load condition. Our load relay protects the motor, motor branch circuit and motor branch circuit components from excessive heat resulted from the overload condition. Our load relays are part of motor starters as well. They protect the motor by monitoring the current flowing in the circuit. If the current rises above the certain limit over a certain period of the time, then the overload relay will trip. We will also add our load relay here into the circuit to provide better protection for motor from our load condition. Let's understand the star connection. For star motor winding connection, we can add another contactor named as star contactor and connect it to W2, U2, V2 terminals of a motor. We will short other end of the contactor like this. The current in a star state is 1 by 3rd of a current in delta state. Hence the contactor rating is 1 3rd of a motor rated current. When the main contractor and star contactor is energized, motor will be running in a star connection. Around 58% less coil voltage is used when using a star configuration compared to the delta configuration. When motor starts in a star, there is a less current in the coil, which results in the drop of a torque output on the motor. When motor attains 90% of a full RPM, timer connected in the circuit would be activated. It disconnects the star connected first and connects the delta connector into the circuit, which means the delta connector is now on. In delta motor winding connection, we will add another contactor here and connect it to W2, U2 and V2 terminal of a motor. We would wire other end of the contactors to L1, L2 and L3 respectively. When main and delta contactor is energized, U1 will be connected to W2, 
V1 would be connected to U2 and W1 will be connected to V2. In this case, motor will run in delta connection. Now, let's understand what is MCCB. MCC or molded case circuit breaker is a type of electrical protection device that is used to protect the electrical circuit from excessive current. MCCB can also be added in the circuit between three-phase power supply and main contactor to provide additional protection. Let's now understand sequence of a star delta starter. Initially, your main and star contactor would be activated. In this point, your motor would be running in a star connection. To control the transition from star to delta contactors, we would use timer to control this. Initially, when motor will start running in a star connection, the timer would start timing. In most of the cases, timer value would be around 5 or 6 seconds. In star configuration, motor would be ramping up slowly. When the motor gains 90% of a full speed, the timer is now up. It would turn off a star contactor and turn on delta. In a delta connection, your main contactor and your delta contactor would be energized. Now motor would run with the full power. It would acquire a desired speed. With that, we would conclude Star Delta Starter. If you got any questions related to Star Delta Starter, please feel free to write comments. That's all for today. If in the case you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.